Hey, what is up guys? It's Rody out here. Welcome to another top 10 video and in today's top 10 video I'll be counting down my top 10 most favorite Unova Pokemon. Now keep in mind this list is 100% opinionated So if you don't agree with it for some reason leave your own top 5 or top 10 in the comments section down below I love reading the comments and seeing how our opinions differ or like are the same in any ways But yeah, enough rambling. Why don't we hop straight into the list? So coming in at number 10 is Ferrothorn and Ferrothorn is a Pokemon that I haven't really used at all to be honest, whether it's in competitive or it's in a let's play. I've just never really encountered a Ferro Seed in um, black, white, black, two, white, two. And even if I did, it's too late in the adventure, I feel like. Not only that, it's kind of gotten in the competitive sense is more of a setup Pokemon. Like, not setup, but like Stealth Rock, Spikes, everything like that. Setups more when you set up Swords Dance and everything like that. But if I would run a Ferrothorn, I would like to use a hyper offensive Ferrothorn because it doesn't have a bad attack set of memory. I know it's speed. I think it's like one of the slowest Pokemon, if not the slowest Pokemon in the game. But who uses a Ferrothorn for speed? Gonna outspeed all those Pokemon? No, 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 you're not. But Ferrothorn, I love its design. Its typing as well, Grass Steel, is just awesome. I feel like so what if it's four times weak to fire? So what? And yeah, Ferrothorn deserves number 10 on this list. Coming in at number 9 is Haxorus, and Haxorus is not a pseudo-legendary Pokemon. I know a lot of people tend to have that misconception because it's a dragon type and it's one of the main dragon types. I know Iris has one in her team and everything like that. But no, Haxorus, although it's not a pseudo legendary, it's an amazing Pokemon. I used one in my first ever Let's Play. Oh, not Let's Play, in my first ever playthrough. We've got Let's Playing on the Mind, guys. Um, my first ever playthrough of um, Pokemon, I'm pretty sure it was Black 2 where I ended up getting it traded to me by one of my friends. His name was Tusks Haxorus. It was an awesome Pokemon. I don't care if it's not a pseudo legendary. It can pack a punch. It gets Swords Dance, Dragon Dance. Both of those are redundant to have on at the same Pokemon. However, just having those two as an option is really good because you can either boost its speed and its attack or just boost its attack out altogether. It gets Outrage, Dragon Claw. Does it get Earthquake? I feel like it should get Earthquake. If not, oh well. Haxorus, awesome design as well. Could be Bug Dragon. I feel like if it Mega Evolved, it could be Bug Dragon. Same with Flygon, but he's not on the list. This is Unova. But yeah, Haxorus is number nine on this list. Coming in at number eight is Bisharp. And Bisharp has a really weird place in my heart. I don't know how to explain it, but usually when I play Pokemon games, if it's not a Nuzlocke and I just have like six Pokemon, I never swap them out of my party. Once I've caught it, they're there to stay. And Bisharp is the only Pokemon, either that or I think Sawsbuck did it as well. I don't know why Sawsbuck, but Bisharp ended up get like I had my team set up. I forget who was on my team, but I ended up swapping one of them out for Bisharp because I remember seeing Pornyard and I remember how late it was in the game. But it looked so cool that I wanted to see Bisharp, and Bisharp can be a powerful Pokemon in Gen 6. It was in Gen 5, but Gen 6 it's even stronger because with knockoffs, the boost, everything like that, it gets stabbed from that. I'm pretty sure it gets Stone Edge. I like to run Stone Edge on mine because of fire types, everything like that. It's just a really awesome Pokemon against fairy types as well. Screw off fairy types because you got the, um, I don't know if it gets Iron Head. I don't know about a lot of these Pokemon's moves, but Steel typing, very good. Dark Steel could be better, but I like the stab it gets on a lot of moves and Bishop's design is just really cool overall. That's why it deserves number eight on this list. Coming in at number seven is Galvantula, and Galvantula is another Pokemon that I haven't really used. Actually, I don't think I've actually used Galvantula at all. However, its design just really grasps me. It's a bug electric type, and when I first saw Joltik, I was like, oh, what the hell is this? It's Joltik. I didn't know what it's going to evolve into. I mean, I could probably step on it and just end its life then, but Galvantula, easily one of the best sticky web users. I mean, if you don't catch, uh, like... Smeargle and things like that, but Galvantula very cool. It has compound as its ability that you want to run because it's almost 100% guaranteed thunders and Thunder is a very strong move. Yes, you'll miss every now and then, but oh, Galvantula will make sure not to prove you wrong. It's shiny. I feel like it's a bit disappointing as well. Cause doesn't it just change to like a darker shade of blue, but like stay kind of yellow where it is? I don't know. Galvantula haven't really tested it out much. I know it's really fast and it can learn things like either Energy Ball or Giga Drain, um, Thunder, as I said, Bug Buzz, just stuff like that. Very cool design, like I've said like many times, and deserves number seven on this list. Coming in at number 6 is Volcarona, and Volcarona is not a pseudo-legendary. Just like Haxorus, a lot of people have the misconception of Volcarona being a pseudo-legendary because 1. It's powerful as hell, and 2. You find it in the, um, I guess, I think those ruins, those sand ruins. You can find that, or you can get just hash the Larvesta you get. 
But anyway, Volcarona, very, very, very strong Pokemon. It gets Fire Dance. I'm pretty sure it's the only Pokemon to get Fire Dance. And even though it gets it at level 100, it can just be amazing. Fire Dance is pretty much a stronger flamethrower, but has the chance to boost special attack. I'm pretty sure either that or speed. But even if it's not speed, it gets Quiver Dance. It gets Bug Buzz. It just gets a plethora of moves. And it complements its Bug Fire typing just amazingly. And also, its design is crazy. Its shiny is awesome. The red on its body turns into like a goldy type of thing and Volcarona is amazing. That's why it deserves number six on this list. Coming in at number five is Jellicent, the Pringles man himself. Jellicent actually, again, holds a kind of special place in my heart because when I did not know what Pokey Ross was, I was playing through the game of Black 2 and I just escaped the, or not escaped because you escaped Pokemon Centers. Now, I just healed up in the Pokemon Center. I came out and then I did one battle against a Jellicent. I got Rex, but then I went back and I got healed, and then Nostril was like, oh, you seem to have uh, Pokey Rust, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, well, Pokey Rust, I Googled it up, and I read about it, and it, no, it's extremely rare. You had to make contact with the Pokemon. You can't just run away. And because it was the only Pokemon that I encountered, I knew I caught it from a, a Jellicent. And that Jellicent, like now, every time I see a Jellicent, I think, oh, Pokey Ross, even though it's not true. I also encountered um, Pokey Ross in our Emerald Let's Play, the first Let's Play we did on this channel somehow. I don't remember how. But again, Jellicent, awesome Pokemon as well. It's extremely bulky. You can take hits like crazy, and it can dish out a certain amount of damage. It's not the best, but it's meant to be the wall. But Pringles Man himself, the wall. And yeah, Galvantula, not Galvantula, that was another one. Jellicent deserves number five on this list. Coming in at number four is Crocodile, and Crocodile, Crocodile, however you want to pronounce it, it's just a badass looking Pokemon. Again, doesn't it doesn't really have an original name, but you know what? Doesn't really matter. Crocodile, however, very cool looking Pokemon. It is very bulky if you decide to invest it in bulk, or you can just do a special, uh, not a special attack. Who wants a special attack in Crocodile? You can just put it straight into physical attack. I don't know about its speeds that I feel like it'd be around 80, don't quote me on that. But one thing that Crocodile does have going for it is in the anime with the glasses. I mean, I don't watch the anime anymore. I used to watch the Pokemon anime, but I don't know, it just kind of died out for me as the series went on. I kind of stopped after Diamond and Pearl. But the, and every time I see like snippets of the, sc uh, of the show, like screenshot wise, Crocodile or Crocorock or Sandile always have the glasses. And I just like how Pokemon get to do that. Like in the third gen anime with Mei and Max, there was Trico with the stick in his mouth, and I always thought that was cool. And just seeing Crocodile have something like that as well, it just kind of brings back those memories. And that is why it is number four on this list. We are now in my top three most favorite Unova Pokemon, and in third place, Darmanitan. Darmanitan is the definition of power. It is speedy as hell. It can attack like a truck. If you flare blitz something that's resisted, you're still gonna do an amazing amount of damage to that Pokemon. Darmanitan is that strong. And even if you put a Choice Scarf on him, there's no stopping him. I'm pretty sure he gets Stone Edge, he gets Earthquake, he gets Flare Blitz, he gets Super Power, all offensive moves. It is crazy. Not only that, if you decide to run a special attacking one, you can go into Zen Mode Darmanitan, but I've kind of forgotten what that was since it's not eligible to be used in competitive Pokemon. But you know what? They're just probably just jealous of him because Darmanitan is amazing. He can go from offensive to defensive like that and his grin is just the best. And that is why Darmanitan is number three on this list. Coming in at number two is Excadrill and Excadrill deserves his place in the Uber tier. I don't know if it's an Uber tier anymore, but I remember him and Blaziken were the only non-legendary Pokemon in Ubers in Gen 5. Even if it got knocked down, it can be a giant threat with Sandrush as the ability. Not only that, he's got an attack stat to boot. He's pretty, I think he's defensive. I'm pretty sure he's defensive. He's not specially defensive, but you can train him in defense, train him in special defense. He's a very good rapid spinner as well. I know I don't use mine for rapid spin. I use more mine for more all out attack in the sand. However, again, like I said, he can be used for Rapid Spin. He's a multi-purpose Pokemon. He can be used for a, a plethora of things. Defensive, attacking. And yeah, I, I pretty much just said that. And his design is really cool. And don't even get me started on the gym leader that just gets that Pokemon and just shows him off. Clay. Clay is an awesome gym leader. Deserves Excadrill as his ace. And Excadrill deserves number two on this list. 
And taking the number one spot on this list is Conkelda. Conkelda is a Pokemon like the others on this list that I haven't really used much. However, I love its design. I love its clown nose. I love its like cement on its hands. Not only that, if you guys have played the new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game on the 3DS, you will know that there is the Timbers and the Girders and everything like that. Is it Girder? Girder? I don't know how to pronounce it, but they help you out. And then just seeing, I don't think, it, they don't evolve in the game. However, I remember like looking at those two, searched up Conkelda. Conkelda is amazing. I love its guts ability. I just love anything where you can turn a hindrance into a help in Pokemon. Like the status ailments, no more. Get paralyzed, get burned. Who cares? You have guts on Conkelda. And I'm pretty sure it gets another ability like Iron Fists. I'm pretty sure it's Iron Fists. It makes sense because it gets, um, I don't know if it gets Mark Punch. It seems like it gets Mark Punch. I think Machamp doesn't get Mark Anyway, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting off topic. Conkelda is a very cool looking Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you need to trade a Girder to evolve into Conkelda, which if that is true, it kind of sucks. But I feel like it is the better Machamp. And Machamp's pretty cool, but Conkelda I feel like is really awesome. It is hard bodied and it deserves number one on this list. And there you guys have it. That has been my top 10 most favorite Unova Pokemon. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do that good stuff really helps me out. Don't forget to leave your own top 5 and top 10 in the comment section below. Let me know your opinions. Did you agree with this list? Did you disagree with this list? Also, um... In not the next top 10 that we do, but the top 10 after I will be starting on Pokemon types like fire, water, grass, everything like that. And in today's video, you guys are going to vote for which that is going to be. So would you guys like to see fire, water, or grass for the first one? I feel like because those are the three types that you get at the start of the game, those should be the first three choices. So feel free to vote for that. The one with the most votes in the comment section below will win. And after the top 10 next, uh, not next week, but the next top 10 that we do, that will be taken. I, if, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully you get it. But anyway, don't really have much else to say. This has been a Rodiad. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.